Hey guys, so I literally just stopped my Ipsy haul for the month and I want to talk to you guys about this weekend because mostly I'm going to want to look back at this and just remember the frantic me. I'm taking a minute to just kind of like stop for a second because the last two days have been go, go, go and then the next two days are going to be even crazier and just, just crazy. So, um... All right, really fast, I am totally rocking my jammies, I'm mismatch, I'm just, I'm a mess because I just took my dress off. My sister is officially, officially a doctor. So she is now, you know, sister MD, which is amazing and it's so cool and if I can find it, I will link in the description box when I told you guys that she got accepted to medical school. So it's been four years since, well it's been like four and a half since I made that video. <laughs> And uh, just talking about it, it's nuts. Like how did, it was a blink of an eye. And when I look back and think of all the things that she's done, including some of like the tests she's taken, which I have kind of a funny story. So she took, and I don't, I want to say it was her MCATs, but I don't, I don't think it was. I think it started with an L or I, it was some sort of a test. I don't think it was MCATs. I think it was after that. I don't know. Anyways, Drake or Deacon was a baby and she had my mom and my sister had picked up Deacon from daycare on their way home from taking these tests like five hours away and they she was just frazzled and um sorry the dogs are going in and out and like hiding from the kids because every video I've been making lately they've been like crazy and it's it's frustrating um but she put Deacon's on, diaper on he was in disposable at the time he was that much of a baby on backwards so like the the strips were like back here on him and uh <laughs> it was just like like you it was that bad that somehow you managed to like put the front forward and then like pick him up to how did you even do that um so like looking back on some of those moments and things like that it's like wow like it's really bad and it's been a while it's just it's amazing it's such a huge accomplishment and it it honestly encourages me that much more to go back and get my master's because i I only have my, um, which I mean, not only have, having your bachelor's is awesome, but, um, you know, I've, I've been throwing around the idea of going back for my master's for quite a few years now. So I think it might actually be something, it was just kind of encouraging being there at the hooding ceremony, ceremony and, and everything else. And it was neat and it was, it's neat to like, I mean, there's, there's points in, in my, in my life more recently where I've you know, there's times where I get like a better taste towards doctors, probably just because of the OBGYN I had with Deacon and learning things since and just everything else. And it just makes you realize like it, it takes you back to that moment where it's like, these guys have really like dedicated their lives and hearing the physician's oath today and everything else is just, it was just, it was beautiful. It was honestly beautiful. So um, congratulations to all the graduates that are graduating right now. It's, it's crazy. So the awards, she got a whole bunch of awards. We did that yesterday and that was super duper fun with like a room full of a bunch of just people. I um I don't want to like stereotype, but like doctory people. And then today was the, the hooding ceremony, which was upwards of almost three hours, 66 people. The hooding each took like 40 seconds. I mean like 30 seconds to be hooded and then 10 seconds for a picture. I want to start with a pocket because, because. You want to uh, start with a pocket? I want to start with a pocket that goes, I want to start with a pocket so, uh, so Granny could snuggle with me in it. Okay, I will go, you want in just a second, okay? Mama, hi, hi, Crazy hi. Shake. <coughs> I hide away. Hey, can you guys go back out and live here for just a second? Go out and go jump for just a minute. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. My 10 minute mommy break's not up yet. Sorry, gal. Um, Okay, so, yeah, she did award ceremony, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, um, now my battery's dying. So we did that, which was just rough with two kids. And then um, it was it's hard when the majority of your babysitters are in the event and next to you in the audience. Um, anyways, so now all the graduation, all the school stuff is done. That was like the first half of this weekend. It's done. It's like... But now it's wedding time. So we are leaving at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and we are going to where she is getting married at and we have the rehearsal dinner at 11 a.m. and then we have to make the arrangements. We are actually making the arrangements. And then, um, well, we have to pick up flowers before the rehearsal, before the rehearsal, make the arrangements, rehearsal dinner, and then bed. And then we get, you know, the next day, Sunday, we get ready for the wedding. And the wedding is, I believe, at like 
five, I'm not exactly sure, which I know sounds horrible. Um, I'm running on about three hours of sleep. Last night I went to bed at 1.30 because I was trying to get as much done, as much work done as possible before. And then um, I woke up at like 4.30 with like my entire speech for the, the reception in my head. And I'm like, how, like I haven't even been thinking about it. I actually, I have a communications degree so I can just like talk and just, it just flows well. It's like public speaking is actually something I'm, I'm decent at, um, which you're going to be watching this video. You'll be like, what? You suck at that. You know, you would think, but, um, it's actually, it's actually something I kind of enjoy, which is, is crazy, but I'm looking forward to it. And I hadn't really put that much thought into it. I'm like, yeah, on the way, like I'll think of a few like kind of bullet points I want to cover. Like I can't read off like index cards. I'm not that kind of a person. Um, I'm like that, you know, I'll just do that. But I wake up at 4 30 and like the entire speech is just in my head. And I'm like, okay. So I start, I start thinking about it. I'm like, oh yeah, that, that's good. That's good. I'm like, I'm going to use the whole thing. And it was like in a dream or something. I don't know, but it woke me up and yeah. So I'm kind of running on actually chocolate cake right now. So much for fitting into that dress. Um, no, I, I was really good the first half of the week. And then after the graduation today or the hooding, I'm sorry, it's not really, it's the hooding. Um, I had pizza and cake because we went to a pizza place to celebrate. Hello. Yeah, it just starts. I'm exhausted. So that's my weekend. I'm doing this video because I keep reminding myself that my sister is only going to become a doctor and a wife in the same weekend once. It's just not so. Anyways, I've got to get back to house cleaning because the house has to be nice for the person who's going to be staying here, watching the house and taking care of the dogs. Oh, buddy, go wash your hands in the bowl out back. Okay, thank you. He brings me a handful of mud. Um, I have a bowl out back so they can like rinse their hands and their feet off in it before they come inside because they're muddy. Um, all right, that's it. I said I'd have a 10 minute break and I think I'm at like 11, so, which <laughs> sounds ridiculous, but I really have so much to do. Um, but I wanted to share all that and I want to have this to look back on because ah, it's just, it's exciting. I'm so excited for her and it's, a lot of people are have been saying to me, um, you know, aren't you like how how hard is this? You know, you you got divorced, you know, like a, a year ago, and um, it's got to be so hard to you know be supportive of your sister getting married, and you know things are just like my life's just kind of crazy, and you know as much as as much as it would be grounds for maybe like jealousy, which I think is that the emotion that most people would assume that I'm having. It's not. I'm so excited for her that, oh my god, I thought it was a spider. It's like a bug crawling up the, like the inside of the door frame thing. But I'm so excited for her that um, there isn't like, there isn't the jealousy emotion, but there is an inspiring factor. And that is to go back to school. Because, you know, what's our life without an upcoming graduation? I mean, really, it was me from high school her from high school, me from college, her from college, now her from college, and she just threw another one in there. So if anything, I'm more or less ex inspired. I'm excited. I'm so happy for her. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. Anyways, I've got to go and pack and, ugh, okay, that thing has got to be escorted outside and um, get all my stuff together. And it's just, obviously I don't want to go. I'm procrastinating. All right, I'm going to shush. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.